Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about Romero's shirt written by Dagoberto Gilb. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Um, so Romero's shirt is a very interesting story. Um, of course, you meet Romero and Romero is a, a hardworking um, individual. Um, he's from Mexico and he lives in um, El Paso, Texas. Um, and basically, in the uh, short story, uh, we, we're given an account of how hard this man worked that all his life. Um, he's had some bad jobs. He's worked um, in some um, odd situations. Um, he's worked um, for tough bosses, tough realities. He's done, you know, everything from, um, you know, picking cotton uh, to cleaning people's houses. You know, anything that uh, you ask him to do, you know, he'll do it for a price. Um, so his life um, it has been very hard. He's worked for every dollar um, that he's earned. Um, and then uh, the short story um, what's happening is Romero, um, he finally has his own home, and he takes a lot of pride in everything that he's, he's provided himself. Um, he, he got married, he has a wife, his wife doesn't ask for that much stuff, he has children, um, he has a mortgage, a house, you know, uh, a car, They're, you know, these things are not the best, um, it's not the, the best house um, in El Paso, it's not the best car out there. Um, but, you know, the house is a functioning house, the car is a functioning car, um, his children have enough to eat, they have food to eat, he doesn't consider himself to be living um, in poverty, um, but it's not the top brand named um, rich life, it's just, you know, he's worked hard and he has a few things, even though they're not um, the most um, top model brand new kind of stuff, it's still stuff that he worked for um for um with his own sweat and blood um and so he takes a lot of pride in it um and and the thing is one thing that we learn about romero and his hard work is that um he he doesn't fill his head with these these mega dreams of success and grandeur um although a lot of people that he knows sometimes they'll they'll leave um and go to other places in america uh, where they can where they get paid more for the same work that he's doing Romero is much more um, he's, you know he's a safe type of person he keeps his head down low he doesn't expect too much out of life he works hard he feeds his kids um, and and you know although he, he gives them what they need he doesn't you know he's not you know wasting money um, he, the, because he works hard for his money you know he's not um, going out and, and doing all these grand grand gestures for his family, um, and he's so he's so sparing. He does everything so sparingly that even his words, even his speaking time, um, the the time he spends with his family, speaking with his family, he doesn't do that that much. He doesn't have much words to to give to his family. So even um, his his words, his own words, his conversations. Um, with his wife and children, they're very sparing. You know, he doesn't he doesn't open up. Um, so he he's he's always kind of like keeping an eye out for everything. Uh, he knows that there's like we're told that within the neighborhood that he lives in, you know, you really can't leave anything out in the open because if you leave anything out in the open, somebody's likely to steal it. Um, so you know, he has a very close eye out. Um, on his stuff because he's worked hard for it and also he doesn't trust many people because he knows that um, you know people are always looking to steal from you or to take from you um, so he takes he, he you know he takes very um, a lot of precaution um, with working with other people um, so one day he takes the day off um, he's in his house by himself he's thinking about you know what work he can do around the house so he takes it upon himself to wash his car and wax his car and clean up his car and then, you know, uh, do all the things that the man would do with his car. 
we're told that he's had you know his car for a very long time um and he he takes special care of it and that's why it's it's working so smoothly um romero is a very organized and meticulous person everything is special everything has a purpose everything you know he's not the type of person that's going to throw something away um so every item every little piece of thing every tiny little piece of thing that he has worked hard and paid for he takes special precautions um to keep it for himself um, to keep it working, to, to keep it functioning. It doesn't have to be flashy. It doesn't have to be the best in the town. It doesn't have to be the best of people who are looking at him. He just wants it to be functioning um, because he paid for it and it's his. So while he's cleaning his car, while he's washing his car, this old man walks up to him and asks him for yard work. Now, if you're reading the short story, this sounds very ridiculous because Romero's you know, front yard it pretty much has nothing, you know, there's like tree stumps, um, you know, the, 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 the greenery is barely growing, there's barely anything, um, there's only, there's like juniper, um, um, evergreen, um, sh um, shrub, or, or, you know, like a, like a bush thing, um, I mean, it's not, it's not a tree, it's just like, um, um, this shrub, that that's probably the most that's the best looking thing um in his yard in his front yard uh and this old man comes and he's like you know i want I, I can trade for you for ten dollars and romero's thinking about this and he usually says no to people like this but this man kind of like piques his interest um and he thinks about being nice to this old man so he tells the old man all right i'll let you trim my my juniper uh for three dollars and the old man is not really too happy about that, but he, he accepts the work because it's work, it's a client, it's money. Um, so the old man says yes, um, on the condition that you know he gets paid three dollars and also that Romero feeds him um, for the day. Um, so they, they get to talking a little bit about Mexico. Um, they're both Mexican, so you know they have that in common. Um, and Romero, you know, fixes up you know some food for them. They eat, they have a drink. Um, and then, you know, um, Romero is pretty much, you know, he watches the old man dance around the, the juniper and trim it like a haircut. Um, those are Romero's words. You know, he said to the old man, yeah, trim the, trim the, the shrub like a haircut um, and, um, and, and make it nice. I mean, I'm paying you $3 for this. You should make it nice. Um, and so the old man, he, he dances around it. Um, he, you know, he uses that expert shrub cutting skill, you know that expertise cutting skill of, of shrubbery, uh, and he gets the job done. Um, and then Romero's feeling great about himself. He's like, man, you know, the, you know, it's, it's good to treat people nice. Um, um, because what happens is Romero gives the old man $5 instead of three. Um, and he sees how happy this makes the old man. Um, and, and somehow just like this, like this, this floodgate is open. Um, within Romero's heart, and he's like, oh man, you know, this is what it takes to make people happy, or generosity, or kindness, and, and, and you know, helping out your fellow man, this, this is all it takes to make people happy, and he starts to think, maybe I should do this more, you know, maybe I should, like, be more open, and, 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 and welcoming, and, and more, you know, giving, and more, you know, have more generosity towards my, my fellow man, or my wife, and my kids, and just, you know, spend more time with them, and be more open with them um, because you know he's he's all his life he's been a very hard-working man saving everything his words his money everything because he's you know he's a hard worker and life is hard um, and, and for this one instance he sees that him, him being generous he's starting to feel all these emotions about giving and, 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 and you know generosity and, and being good to people and how good it makes you feel um, and so he's feeling like a big man because for the first time in his life, he, he, he kind of is a big man to this old man. Uh, Romero is, is, is a, is a well-off man. He has a house, he has a car, he has money, he has food. And this old man is just traveling and just, uh, um, you know, asking people for, you know, some, some pocket or, or just for some money for these basic jobs. And, and the old man and Romero, they're not too different from each other. Um, they, they kind of do the same line of work because uh, Romero, he pretty much does any odd jobs um, around 
um, um, his community that people ask him to do in the same way the old man is doing an odd job for Romero. So they're in the same line of work. They're, they're both Mexican. They're not too different from each other. It's just one has more material wealth than the other. Um, um, and so, so you know, the, all this is going going down, and Romero's feeling good about himself. Uh, the 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 you know the juniper gets trimmed. Uh, the old man gets paid. He eats and he goes away. And Romero goes back into his house. He kind of falls asleep. Then he wakes up and he remembers about his this this, this shirt, the shirt that meant a lot to him. Um, that that meant a lot to his past, his pride, and everything. Um, and and when, when he was cleaning his car, when he was washing his car and waxing his car, he actually put it on the juniper. Um, and when he goes outside to, to, you know, he forgot that he put it on the juniper. When he goes outside to, to look for it and, and to figure out what ha happened to the shirt, um, you know, it was gone. It's gone. And, and he can't find it. He looks, you know, throughout his yard. He looks in, in his house, you know, and, you know, throughout his entire property. Uh, and, and the shirt is gone. It's entirely gone. And he, and he can't keep, he, he can't forget about the old man because it's the old man. Um, probably stole it, and, and 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 although he lives in a community where he's well aware that you know people are going to steal uh, your stuff, and that people are are really likely to steal your stuff, um, he doesn't think about other people or other people that can come in and steal his stuff. He thinks specifically about the old man um, who he hired, and he's like, oh man, this old man came into to my my life, into my free zone. Um, and to my perfect day, uh, he ate my food, he took my money, and he stole my shirt. And he's kind of like going crazy about, you know, um, he's going crazy about what the, this injustice that, that has taken place in his house and how this old man um, had taken, you know, something from him, um, um, both his money, both his food, and, and, and both his shirt. Um, and so it's, it's, you know, it's kind of ridiculous uh, but this is what happens to Romero, um, his shirt, um, and, and, you know, the, the generosity, the love and, and being kind to the fellow man kind of thing that all goes out the window, um, that, you know, being nice to his family and going somewhere with them, everything is just, it just evaporates and he goes back to his old ways of being stingy, of being, of being difficult, uh, of, of being, um, you know, um, keeping everything for himself. Um, and so when his family gets back, he's just the same old person. That 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 little s slim light of of being generous, of being joyful, of and, and, and he was more happy being generous. Uh, you know, all that is gone, and he's right back to his bitter bitter self. And when his family gets back, they don't notice the change that happened to him for only for a little while. Um, and it's just same old dad. Um, and well. You know, he just can't stop thinking about the shirt, and, and the short story kind of ends with him um, dwelling upon his loss, although it's just just a shirt, you know. Um, he has much more uh, material uh, wealth um, in, in terms of importance. You would think that that wouldn't be the most important thing, but it's almost like he lost a child. It's almost like he lost a wife, uh, the way that he's going on about the shirt that he lost. Um in terms of analysis, in terms of deeper meaning here, uh, we can see how Romero's shirt um, says a lot about the character, um, about the, his views on the world. Um, he does have this kind of like dark um, view on the world and how you can't trust people on how you have to hold on tight to all your material wealth. Because as soon as you, you let down your guard, just like you let down your guard with this old man, um, you know, they take from you, they steal from you. Um, and, and, you know, this whole thing about not putting your hopes out there, not dreaming too high, um, and, 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 you know, he, now he's going to double down upon it because as soon as you open your heart, as soon as you open your, gener you know, your doors of generosity, um, and you want to treat your fellow man nice, this is the calamity that comes to you, the calamity of you, uh, you know, somebody stealing from you. Um, and if he, and to him, he's kind of thinking like if he never opened, um, um, his heart, um, and helped out the, the old man, um, maybe his shirt would have never gotten stolen. So I think this man, um, I think he's worse off, you know, to tell you the truth. I think he's worse off than he was, uh, because at first he was just, you know, he, he was being good. He's trying to be 
um, as righteous or, or as good as he could be in his own way before the old man. And after the old man, I think he gets darker. He gets um, more cynical, more um, you know, you know, paranoid and, and untrusting of other people because he, he can see now if you are truly nice, um, you know, uh, people will come in and steal from you. Um, so. Um, now, I think this is set in stone now. I think it will be very unlikely for Romero uh, to ever lend out a hand to another person again. And this honestly makes his life worse because he, he also ends up shutting out his wife, um, also shutting out his kids. And his kids are, 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 are seeing him as just like, you know, dad, just, dad is just like this, this hardworking person. Yes, he does a lot for us, but at the same time, um, he's so to himself, he's so sparing uh, that, you know, that he's closed off and, and just kind of like this, this, you know, brooding man who only cares about keeping the status quo and keeping his stuff, his stuff. Um, so, um, yes, material, material stuff is good. Yes, success is good. But uh, Romero is not happy. Um, he might be better off in terms of money and of having money um, in terms of what he's done with hard work and his pride. But in terms of true happiness, of being happy, um, I think it's his generosity and, and being with people. That's when he was truly happy. But when he starts to, when he stops focusing on people and starts focusing on, on, on his stuff again, I think it makes him more bitter. Um, and... and and I think that that's the outcome of his life, even though he can see his kids and how his kids are growing up and all the, the things that he has. I think by focusing on his material goods, um, he's keeping himself in, in the type of darkness of, you know, you just kind of maintain your stuff, maintain your stuff, maintain your stuff, uh, because that's, that's, that's the thing he thinks that has value. Uh, but although he might have that value of material goods in terms of personal happiness and true enjoyment in life, he does not have it. Um, he does not have it because, you know, he's the man that basically cried uh, over his lost shirt. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he cried over his lost shirt like he would cry over losing a son. So, yeah. So that that's my uh, view on Romero's shirt. Um, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.